Yo, it's time for you motherfuckers to wake up because I'm doing One Piece now because One Piece is the shit and we're going to be talking about it. So, episode 629 of One Piece. Like I said, we got the new opening already, which I've already done a video on. I'll leave a link down below or something like that so you can see it. But new opening, really dope. Said what I had to say about it. That is, yeah, quite cool. But the start of this episode, when we see, like, the whole thing with, like, Don Flamingo resigning, and you see everyone's heard this new juicy jewelry, the Bonnie there, Jinbei, Crocodile. They don't show Crocodile, though. It's like, I really want to see what his time skip looks going to be like, but never mind that. But he picks up, saying he's resigned, and Luffy coming on the phone, like, saying, you know, I'm going to fuck you up, Don Flamingo, like that, if you ever try to do some shady shit like what you did to Brownbeard or Momonosuke. And... Well, I was say, like, freaking Luffy was, like, he was getting tempted by Don Flamingo over fucking meat. And for all that, it's like, he's just passing out. And then Law had to come in and say, yo, fuck it, like, in eight hours' time, we'll be on Dressrosa. And we will drop Caesar off at Green Bit. You go and pick him up there. But what they really plan to do is, whilst they're going to be distracted bringing all those people around to get Caesar, they're going to try and find the Smile Factory in Dressrosa, and they're going to destroy it. And it's like, but the thing is, like, Law knows everything in that island except about the factory itself. He knows everything about that island. He's never been on there before, but it's like, he, how is he going to know about this factory if he can't get in there? And Luffy's excited to go, but he wants to say, ah, oh, I want to visit the Wano Kingdom soon. Although that just gets completely ignored anyway, because, like, he's like, oh, I'm going to help Kinemon and Momonosuke as well when they get to their islands as well. So, you know, to go and get their friend from Zoa, I think that is. Like, Zoa is, like, the last place I went to. And one bit that just made me, like, laugh my ass out in this um, episode is, like, when Law was trying to, you know, be serious with him, say, you can't just say that. Like, and he, Law's like, like, he's like, oh, I'm going to get a sandwich. And Law's like, fuck you, I don't like bread. Like, like he just starts screaming out. Like, and I was like, that was just so fucking funny, I found, like, when he did that. And apparently, like, with Zoa as well, I think that's where Law's people are at. I think that's where his whole crew is at. But overall, like, I mean, probably... Luffy said he's going to go with Zoro and since, you know, Momonosuke and uh, Kinemon have to go there to go and get some samurai back. And overall, like, how the episode sort of ended up with, like, finding out about the new Seven Warlords and finding out the new Warlord is fucking buggy. And he's trolling there. He don't give a fuck. He's, like, saying, yeah, I'm a Warlord, motherfuckers. Look at me yucking it up. And I'm like, wow. Buggy is, like, saying, like, he's going to get the Yonko level. He's going to get King of Pirates. It's like, Buggy, please stop, please. <laughs> you are nowhere near that. I mean, I've got the fucking volumes of One Piece back there where it covers his shit, so you ain't going nowhere near that. How the episode really ends when Don Flamingo's there with his people and he shows what's in the box, and that is... The Mera Mera fruit, Ace's Devil fruit, is there. He has. That's the thing that he said Luffy will be interested in. Really enjoying the episode, how it ends off with them arriving at Dressrosa. Very nicely paced as well. I felt like a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Very enjoyable. And plus as well, for my first one, I felt like I really enjoyed this one. A great way to start off with the brand new arc, Dressrosa now starting, which is just Dressrosa at the minute in the manga. It's looking incredible, so... I'll definitely give this one a 9 out of 10 for this week. But let me know what you think about, like, new One Piece episodes. Like, what do you think about that? Do you think I should keep reviewing the One Piece episodes? But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching. And remember, I'll see you guys next time.